Hello, Zbigniew Wukowski here and in today's episode we'll be looking at how to create circular shape of our icons rather than the rectangle or the square icon which we have by default because we have in properties no, no possibility to do this. So instead what we want to do is we want to pretend that our icon is is uh, circular by using something differently some something else so stay stay with me and we will just be creating this kind of solution which will make our icons look better so i want to first of all i want to insert not an icon but the shape and we will be inserting the circular shape in our in our in our app and this shape the position will be same as position of our icon so let's first of all let's clear 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 the the fill color uh, the fill will be white okay hmm color white cool and then we want for 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 this circular shape to to have fill depending on our column so if our this item dot and our column is called easy checking whether or not the board game is easy we want to have the conditional color so we will go with the red and we will go with the sorry if it's easy we'll go with the green or the red one up oh, yeah that's working already then what we want to do we want to have this where we are let's go to the insert sort to this table and we want to have our icon move to reorder and bring to the front cool then what we want to do is we want to have this color as transparent so oh, it's already looking good but what we want to do next let's let's make it smaller and like let's make this smaller because as you see well, those are not connected so what we want to do is what's the problem yeah we want, don't want to select the parent what we want to do now is to uh, move the position from from this uh, place to Okay, so what we want to do is basically to tie up those icons together now, the icon and our shape. So let's do this, let's position and uh, change this position from, from the fixed value to icon 6.x. Let's change this from fixed position to, to, to y, cool let's solve this problem what's the problem mm, six sorry of course oh cool uh, but also we need to tie of course the width and tie the height okay looks good already what i did in the background as well for this icon to look cool is to create padding what i usually do is to, uh, i'm usually creating the padding on one eighth of of the length so for 40 uh, it will be five but you can also do do this in the function like icon six width uh, divided by eight this will works and this looks great in my opinion you have the clear icon in circular shape this is actually the only way to do this in power apps so 
hope it was helpful if yes you can like sub etc if and uh, you can look at my other videos i have a lot of content from power apps power platform power automate power automate desktop etc all the microsoft stuff and yeah that's all see you later it's beginning fukowski out